Well, today we are here at the Palm Grill, behind the scenes in the kitchen. I've got Chef Todd Glazmer here with me. And uh, I see that he's got some shrimp and scallops that he's going to cook up for us. That's some of my favorite things to eat. So, Chef Todd, uh, what is the dish exactly? Uh, this is one of our more pop popular dishes at the Palm Grill. It's a shrimp and scallop dish that's served over some baby spinach. It's got some Parmesan cheese, some tomatoes, and some herb butter all mixed in. It's a very nutritious, low-calorie dish. Uh, the spinach is packed full of vitamins and minerals. You got your proteins with your shrimp and scallops. It's a really tasty dish. Like I said, it's one of our more popular dishes here right now. All right. So we get to see how you make it up. All right. Let's we're gonna do start. it. We're going to start. First off, the most important thing when we're cooking scallops is to start with a very, very hot pan so you get a nice sear on the scallops. So I use a little bit of clarified butter. We're going to make sure that pan gets hot to the point where it's almost smoking. You want, it to, you want to see a little bit of smoke coming off the pan before we put the scallops in the pan. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and sear, season my shrimp and scallops. Like I said, the most important thing about this dish is to make sure that we got some smoke coming off this pan so we get a nice sear on these scallops. So you'll start to see a little bit of smoke coming off there. It's about right where you want it. We'll go ahead and throw your scallops in there. We're going to start with the scallops, we're going to brown them on one side and then we'll flip them. Then we'll add our shrimp. The shrimp won't take as long to cook as the scallops, so we'll give the scallops a minute to cook on the front side and the back side, and then we'll add the, the shrimp. And then we'll add in some fresh garlic. It will be glazed with a little bit of white wine and lemon juice. And then we'll whip in some whole butter at the end, that, that herb whole butter. And that, that'll bring the dish together. Now is, is the difference in cooking time because the scallops are thicker? It's a little more, thicker are they, are they more it, dense? Yes, and it takes a little bit more time to get a sear on the scallops. You'll see when I go to turn them, they have a nice brown crust on it. You want to make sure you get that brown crust on there that'll sear all the juices in and keep them nice and tender, keep them from drying out. So when you start seeing a little brown around the edges, you're just about there. I'll just take a minute. Oh just, yeah, just, just there it is, minute. looking good. Like I said, these are going to take a little bit longer, so we can give these a minute to cook. You see it's starting to brown around the edges. Once you get a nice, nice sear on it, it'll turn in. Ooh, those are looking good now. We'll give them another minute or two on this side, and then we'll add our, our, our shrimp to the dish. Once they start to cook, we'll go ahead and throw our shrimp in. Make sure you get a nice sear on each side of the shrimp. Yep, you can add a little bit that more. A little flambe going there, little, huh? Yep. Now the clarified butter, is that something you do to the butter especially? Oh uh, yes, it separates the milk, milk solids from the fats and that way it, this butter won't burn when you're cooking. Okay. It. If you cook with a whole butter, it reaches a temperature where it'll start burning yeah, right, right. and you'll get a brown. Now, a lot of people say that's why you use olive oil because it's, it's a higher temperature, right? Uh, yeah. We, but if you do it this way. We, we use clarified butter sure. here in the kitchen. It's it, adds, it adds another layer of flavor. So how do you, do you get the butter to clarify? Is that a process that you do here? Yeah, you put it on the stove, let it sit at a low temperature and it'll separate and okay. then you scrape off the. That's how you do it. Pour off the milk, okay. milk solids. So when we get to that point, then I'm going to go ahead and throw in some fresh garlic, which I have right here. Got his garlic. Yeah, a little bit of fresh garlic. We saute that just for a second to bring out some of the flavors. And then I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of fresh lemon juice and white wine. Let that boil down, reduce for a second. That'll 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 help bring out the flavors in the pan from the searing of the scallops. Oh, it's the smelling tree. good already. Once that reduces down a little bit, that's when I'm going to add my whole whole herb butter. But we're going to do that off flame so the butter doesn't break, so we, we maintain a nice creamy. So I wish you could smell how good this is. There we go. We're reduced down to about where I want to be right there. Now I'm going to take my whole herb butter, which is just regular whole butter. All right. That we mix in some fresh herbs. It's got thyme, uh, rosemary, basil, parsley, a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to add that to the pan. All right. Just slowly whisk, whisk that in. This is off flame. So off this, the flame, yeah. Off flame, so that you're getting all the flavors from the pan, from the scallops and the shrimp mixed in, and that butter won't break. It'll, it'll 
that, that, that's going to be your sauce that we'll pour over top of the. And what do you call that in the pan? Is that the fond that's at the bottom of the pan? Is yeah, that that's the, the fonds fond? that you, yeah. you, you, you trying to release with the white wine and lemon juice, and then okay. you just slowly whisk this butter in here at the end. Like I said, you don't want to get it too hot or else the right. butter will break. You want to keep it a creamy, nice creamy consistency like that. Just about there. I, if I put this back on the flame, this butter will start separating and you'll get, it'll just, you won't have a nice creamy texture right, to right. it. So once we're done with that, that's nice and reduced, nice and warm. We're gonna go over here and put it on top of our big, fresh baby spinach. Mm -hmm. And this sauce is going to help wilt the spinach a little bit, so it'll, it'll cook down the spinach a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and set all that on there. So it never hits the stove, it's just the heat from the sauce. Yeah, the heat from the bit. sauce will cook it a little bit. It'll, it'll keep it fresh, but it will help wilt it a little bit. So we'll pour the sauce right over top of that. Oh boy. It's got all your flavors from the pan cooked in there. And then we like to garnish it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Uh -huh. And some fresh chopped tomatoes. It's a quick, easy dish that anybody could prepare at home, and it's very nutritious, very flavorful. There you go. We also garnish it with a couple toast points. This is a gluten-free dish. If we did not use the toast points, okay. it would be considered a gluten-free dish without, without the toast points. Well, we're going to have a little taste of this, and I can't wait. All right, Dan, here you go. Oh, Todd, wow. Look at this. Ooh, amazing. Have a seat with me here, Todd. Well, your work looks amazing. I can't wait to try this. Whoops. Yes. Oh my. Mmm. That is sucking one. So good. I'm only scalps. Got to bite into one of these guys. Mmm. Wow. That's amazing. Like I said, that's a low calorie mm -hmm. you know, dish that's filled with lots of vitamins and minerals. Spinach is obviously got, is high in fiber. Mm -hmm. so it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice all around dish. Absolutely. Then we have our famous crab okay, cakes. Okay, gotta try the crab cake. Everybody loves those. Oh my, <laughs> it's so good. You know folks, if you haven't been to the Palm Grill lately, you gotta come try some of these, uh, these offerings. Chef Todd has a whole menu full of stuff like this. Wonderful, wonderful uh, adventures for your palate. So uh, I urge you, go to the Palm Grill to try. You won't be sorry.